Howdy. Aaron Boster here with the Ohio Health MS Center, taking a few moments to explain why I don't use narcotics in my MS practice. Narcotics are an excellent medicine for acute pain syndromes, like a heart attack or having your leg chopped off your body. Narcotics, however, I think do not serve a valid role in uh, treating long-term chronic neuropathic pain. When you uh, think about how a narcotic works, it helps to understand why. Narcotics um, bind a mu receptor, MU. And this mu receptor is like a catcher's mitt, if you'll think of that analogy. When a pain signal, which is like a baseball, binds inside the catcher's mitt, this mu receptor, it tells the body, hey, you hurt. And so what narcotics do is they actually bind up the mu receptor with something else and so that the pain signal, the pain molecule can't bind and therefore there's no pain signal. And that's pretty good. However, over time, when you bind up all of your mu receptors, your body naturally makes a bunch more. And this is the biologic underpinning of tolerance. What happens is the same dose of narcotic medication that helped your pain initially no longer does. And in fact, the human being can become more sensitive to pain because now they have a bunch more mu receptors than they used to. Over time, when you're dealing with a chronic pain syndrome, as we oftentimes see in the setting of multiple sclerosis, you're going to need pain medication in some form for a very long time. And if you're using narcotics as that pain medication, you may find that you need increasing, increasing, increasing doses. But there are major, major side effects, which can include respiratory suppression and a bunch of other scary things. And I remind us all that in 2017, that there is an epidemic of opioid overdose and death. Uh, more uh, human beings are dying from opioid overdose in the United States than at the peak of the AIDS crisis. And I, as a clinician, do not want to contribute to that. But I also don't think that biologically it's the best way to address pain. Now, elsewhere in one of my YouTube videos, I talked about different types of pain in MS. And I encourage you to check it out if you're interested. But the common thread is that all the pain syndromes in MS are largely neuropathic, coming from brain and spinal cord damage. And fortunately, there's other classes of medicine that are highly successful to treat forms of neuropathic pain, chronic neuropathic pain. Most of these medicines were actually invented for other purposes. For example, uh, anti-seizure medicines. They stop seizures by stabilizing cell membranes. Well, if you stabilize nerve cell membranes, it can decrease pain signals. And so we use uh, medicines invented for epilepsy with great success to manage uh, uh, MS neuropathic pain. There are also several types of antidepressants which have pain properties. They can actually help pain quite a bit, separate from their mood. So once again, Aaron Boster here talking for a few minutes about neuropathic pain in MS, which is very real and hurts like the Dickens. And I'm explaining, I hope, why I, don't, I choose not to use narcotics to treat that pain. I do treat that pain. I just do it differently with different medicines. Thank you very much. Take care. Have a great night.